Hi guys, welcome back. This is a response to Joey's original video uh, involving belts. Now, I think he was right. A lot of times people don't really acknowledge the belt as a vital and vitally important part of your gear list. And it is. It's about as important as anything else and as important as, sling, as a sling is to a rifle or a holster is to a pistol. Now, the main difference that you can see between my belt and Joey's belt is that mine's made of a different material, specifically leather. And the reason why I chose leather over nylon is because, frankly, a leather belt looks more like a regular belt than a nylon belt does. So I opted for a more stealthy approach. Now, I'm not saying that owning a nylon belt is necessarily bad. It's not at all. But the thing is, though, for me personally, I like it when my things are as low profile as possible, both visually and physically. Visually in the sense that you wouldn't be able to distinguish this from any normal item that's not associated with uh, a, a gun-related product. And as you can see, over the last year, this thing has really held up quite well. There's some nicks and everything like here like that, but that's to be expected. I had originally purchased this belt because I was going to a tactical course in Pennsylvania, and I needed a better um, belt to support my holster and the pistol I was carrying that day. I did rent one. Now, I want to I also state, state that in this video, because I'm in New York State, I don't really have the opportunity to carry a CCW very often. However, I will not confirm or deny that I actually may or may not have experience with carrying a CCW. But again, that's neither here nor there, and I'm not confirming anything. So let your imagination flow through it. So as I said, the fact that it's a, it's a leather belt really does aid in the stealth factor. And I think stealth is a very important part of any defensive um, system. Now, if I was going to complain about one thing with regard to this belt, is that there are two set screws here that will occasionally loosen up. And you've got to really, really be careful about these things. I lost one in a bathroom once in New York City, and I had to look on the floor. And I'm surprised it didn't grow a foot out of my ass as a result of that. If you know anything about New York City, or you know anything about specifically Penn Station's bathroom, you know, it's it's a, quite a dangerous place in terms of, um, well, it's just dangerous. Especially the bathrooms. Holy crap. And I do mean that literally. But it's not too bad. Uh, if you stay, If you stay on it and you put some blue Loctite on there, you should be absolutely fine. Now, what's cool about leather belts, too, is that although they have the problems that leather does, is that they crack and they fray over time and everything like that, and they're a little bit more susceptible to sweat and all that kind of stuff, um, there are certain products that you can use that will do multiple uses in your arsenal. For example, I use Ballastol a lot to clean my guns. Ballastol is... Uh, good at treating leather and good at preventing that sort of stuff and protecting it. I've used Ballastol on this a little bit. I, I'm not going to say that I've used it a lot, but it does help and it does do rather well. Now, in terms of carrying a CCW, uh, this belt, and again, I'm not confirming or denying that I've done this, performs very, very well. It is stealthy enough where I don't really have to worry about people going, hey man, that looks like a tactical belt. Although not many people are staring at my pants so in some ways, I, I don't really see how that would be much of an issue. But again, it's a very, very rigid system. So that's really the most important part. Another thing that I use this belt for, not only is just everyday wear, like I just wear it as an everyday belt, is that it works really well as a dress belt. It has a really nice stainless steel buckle that's got... You know, a nice contrast if you're wearing something like all black. I've been to a wedding uh, with with this belt. And uh, actually, a few people complimented me on it. They said, hey, man, that's a nice belt. Of course, that implies they're looking at my pants, looking at my waist and everything like that. But I can't possibly blame them. If you see me in real life, you know that I am one sexy motherfucker. So anyway, this before I, before I end this video, I just want to mention the brand of this belt. It is a bull leather belt. Bull leather. And I have really nothing. Not, I have nothing but good things to say about it. Anyway, guys, um, I'd like to hear your thoughts and your responses about this sort of belt, Joe's belt, my belt. If you have any experience with either brands, this one, this particular one is a bull leather belt. Joe's was an SOE. So yeah, like, comment, subscribe, and let us know. We'd love to hear from you.